To optimize the dynamics of the software, automotive engineers use calibrations which they can finely tune once the software is in production. Hi Wolfgang, thank you for joining this call. I have a question for you. How calibration parameters are defined in the AutoSAR standard? Hi Nabil. Indeed, AutoSAR is an architecture standard and offers several options to define calibrations. Let's take this from the angle of the software components. We commonly use the term AutoSAR software component but the right expression is software component type because a software component type can be instantiated once or multiple times. Considering this, AutoSAR offers three options uh, to define the calibration parameters. The first two options address the calibrations defined internally to the software component type. Option one is uh, the calibration is defined for a specific instance of the software component type. And this means that each instance has its calibration values managed in a separate memory. The calibration in this case is called per instance parameter. The second option is that it is uh, defined to share the same value with all the instances of the software component type. And here the calibration is called shared parameter. Okay, great. And of course, the third option is the one which enables any instances of any software component types to access the same calibration. This option is supported with the AutoSAR parameter interface. And in this case, a specific component type called parameter software component type is responsible to produce the calibration data and the other components can access it. Uh, right, Nabil. Um, but what's the most common scenario? Well, in general, I think the three options are popular, but in, people tend to work more with single instance components. And then in this case, option one and option two basically result in the same thing. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Wolfgang, we also see projects using non autosar calibrations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? And do you think this is a problem? Actually, it's not a problem because in the end, the implementation of AutoSAR or non-AutoSAR calibrations is just C code. Uh, the non-AutoSAR calibrations are usually global variables. So maybe these projects keep using uh, legacy calibrations from former non-AutoSAR projects or it's just an assumed decision. However, non-AutoSAR calibrations uh, can run into a conflict and may be error prone because the variables, mm -hmm. uh, the names of the variable need to be defined to avoid naming conflicts and the user has to manage uh, the memory mapping for the shared or component specific calibrations. And with AutoSAR, these conditions are automatically handled. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Wolfgang. Okay, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and follow us on LinkedIn or YouTube to discover more videos. Bye. Thank you.